Hey everybody, guess what time it is? It's wine bottle stopper time. I have been making some beautiful wine bottle stoppers and enjoying it. Uh, here's a few of the ones I've made. Uh, all different styles and shapes. Put them on the top of bottles, whether it be like on the top of a uh, oil bottle in the kitchen or on the top of a wine. It makes a nice a nice decorative top and different colors, different techniques. These are my favorite little mushroom ones that I've made. Maybe i show you how I make the little mushroom stopper. So, off to the shop we go. Here we go. Let's see what we've done. Now, to make a bottle stopper, there's two parts to it. You're going to have to um, order yourself some parts, which I uh, get them from Penn State Industries. And it's the, it's the chrome stopper part. It's threaded because... When you take your block of wood, you're going to drill a hole, and then I tap out a hole because because what I'll do you do is you thread that on the chuck. The chuck system goes on the lathe directly to that, and then when they're done, that screws on there. But that's not a bottle stopper. We got to make it something fancy, and I thought maybe a mushroom would be the cool thing to do. So I've already placed part of this uh, black walnut here. Um, on the lathe and I've been turning it down to a nice um, cylinder, uh, <laughs> dowel I guess, I don't know. Um, anyway, so it's ready to go and I thought maybe I'd show you my technique to make a cool mushroom bottle stopper. Ape and if you, you know that it's got sort of a cap. Whoa! <laughs> And if you know, um, as you think about a mushroom, there's the stem and there's the cap. And this is really free form. I mean, there's no specific pattern. Just kind of do what seems natural. I'm going to start with the roughing gouge. Okay, now the next step is going to be the sanding, and I think I've got the shape I like. It's a classic mushroom shape, and I'm going to take off my jam banjo for safety. What I like to use is a couple, just to get me started, to get the roughness out of this, is some of these sanding pads. And I think I'm going to turn on my shop back here. And the final step is I use my putt crystal coat and uh All right, so what I've decided to do is now that I've got that coat on there, I like to take a little bit of wax. This is just straight old beeswax. Put a little on there. I 
she goes. And then what I do is I lock down my my lathe, and then I'll There's the little mini mushroom. Now, we got the hole all ready to go. And now it's the matter of Now one of the things is sometimes it gets tight right in this last little bit. So I what I do is I peel down or off the rubber gasket and I use a pair of pliers. Now of course these are channel locks and you're not going to see that anyways. And uh, then I get my last couple turns out of it. Get down there nice and tight. There we go. Slide the gasket back on. And there we go. We got ourselves a nice bottle stopper mushroom. So there she is. And there she is. One mushroom bottle stopper. Of course. The mushroom may not be your style or a cup of tea, but you could certainly make different ones. I like all sort of different styles, but that's one of my little personal favorites. Not too bad. All right, I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial on me making mushroom bottle stoppers. And uh, any kind of bottle stopper you make, you'll really enjoy, but this is one of my little personal favorites. Thanks for watching.